Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Chris or CDB and I am so glad to be back with you today. I took a, a day off from videos on uh, Monday. Today is Tuesday and we're going to be using Orange Chill by Sterling. It's warming up outside which I love. As you can see I've been out in the sun uh, a little bit. I've also been sick recently so thanks everyone for all the well wishes. I've had uh, that cough going for three weeks. I think the sun has helped with that. Then I had a headache and whoo it's been rough, but I want to thank everybody for your well wishes. And today, I think this orange chill is going to hit the spot. I'm going to be using the Timeless Aluminum Razor with the uh, Permasharp blade. And yes, we <laughs> we have some wounds, as you can see there. I had an MMA fight with uh, Heather Melton from Zingari the other day, and she won. <laughs> no, actually, I'll, I'll get into that during the video. It was fun, though, I must say. I had a good time. I did sustain some... Uh, head shaving <laughs> wounds there, but they shall heal. Do not worry, but I'm going to let it grow for uh, a few days just so those can recover a bit before I <laughs> shave them again. It looks worse than it is. Uh, by the way, I'm using some uh, ice tube. This is uh, 2.0 from PAA. Just, I want to get some cooling going today. Like I said, the weather's warming up and no one is more happy about that than me. On uh, Monday, just took a break from making video Sunday and uh, Monday I tried to relax, you know, uh, sort of disconnect from social media. You need to do that once in a while and just sore head hang around. All right, we've got a pre-shave going, which is mentholated and uh, the brush for today is the Polar G4 and uh, this can be had on Amazon. It's like 27 bucks, I wanna say, so let's wet our brush a little bit. And Get to lathering with our Sterling. Cost on Sterling, terrific. Thirteen sixty for five point eight ounces. Two thirty four an ounce. As you can see on my chart, two thumbs up. Sterling products are fantastic uh, in value and in quality. Um, just absolutely terrific. I love Sterling, and you'll see even in a lot of videos where I'm not using Sterling soaps, I'm using Sterling aftershaves because they are also quite affordable. I have a lot of Sterling stuff. And Jimmy from uh, New York City, Wet Shave, will like that. I always say he's the number two fan of Sterling because I'm number one. And you know, I like Sterling. Love Sterling. I like the way they do business. I like the products. I like the fact they're still offering 5.8 ounces and you're still getting great value. You know, a lot of artisans has, have gone to the more expensive per ounce prices and the, you know, more expensive ingredients. And Sterling has mostly stuck to their guns and still offering great value, which is the reason why I like it so much is it sets a low uh, cost of entry point. So a lot of new wet shavers can try a lot of products for not a lot of money. Also, they offer the best samples in the business. Those big round, I hope they still offer them that way. It's been a long time since I've gotten a, since I've got a Sterling sample. Um, but their sample size is because they're wide, easy to load from, really terrific. And here we go with our timeless aluminum, and that feels fantastic. Easily cutting through the growth here. Very, very nice. Uh, you know me, I'm always a big fan of uh, timeless, good people. They make a great product. And I have so many razors, you haven't seen them here as much recently. I'm just trying to rotate through things, you know, for the sake of different content. But uh, Timeless will always have a spot in my den. And they're committed to customer satisfaction. I really like that about them as well. All right. Very, very nice. Anyway, so let's talk about the, the uh, Instagram Live the other day. So we did... Uh, an Instagram Live, uh, Heather Melton and myself the other night. And what you don't know is before that, I had been walking, my washer broke. And you know how you feel when your washer breaks. And I was all bummed out about it. So it was, uh, you could put water in it and it would agitate, but it would not spin or drain. So I'm like, oh, shucks. Maybe there's something hung in the water pump. So I take the whole thing apart 
and I look in the water pump, it's not clogged, and then I'm like, well, maybe it's the the lid switch, and it turned out to be the lid switch, so I'd taken the whole thing apart when I didn't need to, because it turned out just to be the lid switch, and you know, I'm not crazy handy. I can do some things, but that's not really my forte. And so I fixed it, and I was very proud of myself. And I don't drink much at all, but I had a few celebratory drinks because I was really happy with myself having fixed the washer. <laughs> so then I got on the, the live shave, and I probably had another couple, and boy, I got loose, needless to say. And that is something that rarely happens with me because I'm just not a big drinker. And so, anyway, we were having the live shave, and towards the end, there was just blood everywhere, and I didn't even realize it, you know. And so then the next day, I'm like, oh, wow, look at that. Even right after, you know, I put some uh, alum on it, and it quit bleeding. And I was like, okay, no big deal. But the next day, you could see there was sort of scabbing. And I was like, holy mackerel, I really did a number. So, needless to say, <laughs> I had to take a few few days break from uh, head shaving and it looks rough <laughs> but I did have fun you know and so my advice for people and one, one of the things that I am known for is look what you get on my channel is real you know I've sort of aired it all over the years the good the bad and the ugly and so my advice to you is don't have too many celebratory drinks before a live shave because for two reasons one I'm also a talker so I'm yapping, and I think Heather, you know, really did most of the talking because I was quite loose. But I'm yapping, and I'm not paying attention to shaving. And you do not want to be shaving your head when you're not paying attention. And when you're loose, as I like to call it. So don't do what I did. Otherwise, you'll end up having a dome that looks like mine. It will heal. But uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. And then I ended up, not the next day... But the day after with a splitting headache, uh, whew, Monday, just absolutely splitting headache. Had nothing to do with the, the live shave or the drinking. I just, I have migraines. And so I got a migraine on Monday. Whew. And uh, man, I hate having migraines because they're very debilitating. But anyway, chalk that up to another Lesson learned, so those of you who watched and those of you who didn't, you know, you can see the result, so don't do it. Learn from my mistakes. I have said that many times over the years, and uh, believe me, I've made enough mistakes in my life that I can share many and have on the channel, and I hope you all will learn uh, from my mistakes. All right, let's continue on. Really nice cooling, obviously, in this soap. Sterling, fantastic. Really, really nice. And the timeless aluminum is hitting the spot as well in the brush. Quite nice. I think it was $27. I really like the looks of it. That's what sold me. I didn't really have any brushes of this design and color. I also picked up a couple from uh, West Coast Shaving that I just got in. Uh, they're beacon brushes, which I'll be showing soon. And speaking of West Coast, I want to mention something. The other day I used the uh, uh, Kai Pot, what was it, Kanpai soap, and I absolutely loved it. Um, oh, the scent was killer. And that was sent to me by West Coast Shaving. And occasionally, I am scent products, as you know, and I tell you when I am. But if you watch the videos um, on my channel, and I'm, there's more than 1,400 between the two channels. The amount of things that I've been sent is like this compared to what I buy and use. But some fellow, I think his name was Carti Carlito, made a comment and somebody emailed me the comment. I'm like, well, how do you feel about this? And I said, well, I don't, I don't feel any way about it. Um, basically, he, Carlito said, you're a POS, meaning piece of you know what, sellout for taking the soap and using it. Uh, and... I'm just like, well, see you back in the next video because he will be back. They always come back. Anyway, uh, my approach for videos is the same and you can contact anybody who's ever seen or ever sent me a product. And I tell them right then and there that I need to be able to speak 100% candidly. And if I do not like it, I will say so. 
And there are some people who will not send me things based on that. Uh, go back again. I'll mention the Helmsman was the last product I was sent that I didn't like. And go look for the video. It's there. Uh, no one can buy a positive review uh, from me. If I like it, I'm going to say so, whether I buy it or whether it's sent. And again, most of the things I buy, it, and I would also say, not that I need to, but I'm going to, that the amount of stuff that I have given away on this channel over the years far exceed, uh, exceeds that of which I've been sent for review to try. So I have done my fair share and continue to do my fair share. Carlea, what have you done, I might ask. You know, what? a lot of times when people make those kind of comments, they don't contribute much. And it's easy to tear people down or try to, um, especially when you're not putting yourself out there and, and contributing. Uh, and maybe he does, I don't know. But uh, my, my thoughts on that is that's his opinion. They're wrong, obviously. Uh, but it's not something that stays with me because, you know, I've had that before, and just last week, I think um, someone did that to Ken Surfs and, and others, and that just comes with the territory. And I would say that to those of you who are making videos, if you're fortunate enough to have somebody send you something to try and you like it, people are going to sometimes do that. Uh, and that's just the way it is. But uh, I don't worry a lot about that. But I did want to answer that because uh, a gent did email me and he was, you know, wanting to know how I feel about it. And it, and basically it did, it, uh, whenever you call names of the internet to somebody you don't know, I don't put a lot of, uh, you know, credence in it. It doesn't mean anything to me. So uh, I take it far more seriously. The, the people who watch on a daily basis and my peers um, and the folks I hear from daily, I take what they say and their recommendation and, and their comments a lot more seriously than I take, you know, those sort of things. And so that's where I fall on that. And you'll see that that happens to, you know, most everyone. Kevy Shaves, Ken Surfs, you know, it will happen from time to time. They've given Chris from Another Cut Above a hard time over using Australian private reserve. Um, you know, you can't please everybody. And so that's one of the things that I think you just have to understand. All right. Wow. Man, this was a nice shave. A timeless aluminum. It's probably this and the Lupo are my favorites, but honestly, I may not ever use the aluminum Lupo again because I have the stainless now and I prefer more heft. But this one manages, manages to be quite efficient and it just did a great job. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back for the post. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with the magic made by Witches, Thayers. And I must tell you, this was a very nice shave. No creepers, weepers, cuts, irritation, no bubbles, no troubles. And that's what we shoot for every single day. Very nice. Oh yeah, Sterling, you can't go wrong with it. Um, one of the best value soaps and companies out there. I love this stuff again, 234 an ounce. Just absolutely phenomenal. Looks like I have something in my mouth there. Also, um, been enjoying the ice tube from uh, PAA too. Really nice cooling. Between that and the orange chill, it's right on time for me. Of course, we enjoyed our polar shaving brush. I'll have a link below if you're interested in that. And last but not least, Pharaoh's Dreamsicle, which to me kind of smells like creamsicle. If you're familiar with that scent, really terrific in my view. Oh, by the way, I also want to thank everybody for uh, joining me for the, the YouTube live test on uh, Saturday. I'd asked before if people were interested in that, and a lot of people said they weren't interested in in live shaves, and I totally get that because I'm a talker, and I and if I were doing a live shave, I'd probably have a bad shave like I did on my head the other night. Um, but maybe I'll do a live uh, chat, um, maybe once a week on Saturday night, and I'll post it in advance because I had a lot of fun uh, catching up with people. Joe from Razor Rock was there. Many, many, many others. Um, he was just there and I happened to be asking him about the Hawk Stainless, which is coming soon for a great price. Stay tuned. You know, I'm gonna be on, on that um, because I like aluminum razors, but sometimes I press too hard and I'm thinking the Hawk and Stainless is gonna be right for me. We shall see. This is always right for me. Sterling Favors Dream Sickle. I use these aftershaves a lot because I love them. 
and they're well priced and all the products today was great in addition uh or i don't want to leave out i should say the timeless aluminum and the permashark blade i haven't used these for a long time but man this is a smooth blade i'm gonna to have to get some more of these i think i have a few packs but it's a really nice smooth blade or at least it was for me today this blade and this razor was phenomenal smooth and i didn't press down too hard as i have a tendency to do thanks everybody for watching thanks for all the well wishes i'm back i'm not going anywhere i'll take a break now and then you know for a day or so but i'm not going anywhere i want to thank all of you for watching until next time i want to remind you it's your shave do it your way and god bless